I'm here today to do a rave review because honestly, I felt a little bit like a negative Nancy lately here on my reviews. I've read a lot of average or below average things, at least to me lately. So I'm really happy to say that I did read one thing this month that I really loved. So the book I'm talking about today is An American Marriage by Tayari Jones. And I read this for a book club, which isn't always a good thing. I feel like it's 50-50 if I really love a book club book or sometimes, you know, I see I really hate them. But luckily this one was a win for me. And I just feel like if you haven't read this one, I know it's kind of popular, but you really should. So if you haven't heard of An American Marriage, I'll give you a rundown of the plot. It's actually explicitly simple. You're following Celestial and Roy who have been married for about a year, I think. And then Roy, the husband, gets wrongly accused of a crime and he ends up having to serve jail time or prison time. So he's sentenced to 12 years in prison for the crime that he actually didn't commit. And we know that for sure, so that's not really a spoiler. Um, but he ends up getting released early because they proved that he wasn't, there wasn't enough evidence to actually prove that he did the crime. But the problem is because he had been in prison so long and he and his wife were not really together that long, they kind of drifted apart. So the whole plot of this book is centered around what happened to their marriage and why there's going to be drama because he's suddenly coming home early and she's not prepared for that. Personally, there were a lot of things I loved about this book. First of all, if you're looking for a book where a lot happens, this is not for you. This is definitely character driven. And the interesting thing is I didn't really like most of the characters, but I still cared about them and I was invested in learning more about them. So the whole book is basically about that plot that I told you. And we get a lot of flashbacks and stuff learning about these two characters and their marriage. And I just thought it was really interesting. I just wanted to hear more about their thoughts. And like I said, they weren't even that likable of characters. They, everyone had their faults. And I guess that's what makes them more realistic. Another thing I liked about this book was that the writing was somewhat artistic without being over the top. I learned a phrase, a literary phrase recently, uh, purple prose, because I tried to read Something Wicked This Way Comes by Ray Bradbury and I couldn't finish it. A lot of the complaints that I saw about his writing was that he writes in purple prose, which just means like you're being artistic for the sake of being artistic to the detriment of what you're actually trying to do, like have characters, a plot, and a story. And this book was opposite of that, not purple prose at all. I think it was artfully done and you enjoyed reading, you know, the sentences that she wrote, but it didn't distract you from the book itself and make you think, oh, this is kind of obnoxious. <laughs> Another thing I really appreciated about this book, and again, this is not a spoiler, but we have somewhat of a love triangle and it's done well. I feel like a lot of times when I read about love triangles, I get really frustrated because it doesn't seem realistic and it feels like, I mean, most love triangles I've read have been one woman, two guys, and she's just being ridiculous and like trying to play each off of each other and like be with both of them at the same time even though that's not what anyone wants and that definitely did not happen here i think it was done really well and not in an annoying way so i appreciated how she played the love triangle thing so overall if you're someone who enjoys character driven novels you have to read this i really recommend it and if you're just looking for a really good book in general i really recommend this one too I gave it four out of five stars, even though I've said all these great things about it, there was one fault and it really bothered me about this one. I am really not the type to be like the PC police, but some of the characters in here were extremely misogynistic, like actually a lot of them. I feel like a lot of the women characters were expected to just be like taking care of their husband, cooking him a meal, cleaning up after him and it almost made the male characters, almost all of them, seem really pathetic. Like once their wives or girlfriends were gone, they couldn't function as human beings. And I just, I hate that kind of stereotype. I think we should do away with it. And that was kind of how all the relationships, almost all, were played in this book. And on that same token, they also normalized things like men abandoning their wives and children and men cheating on their wives, wives cheating on their husbands. Like, 
we should not be normalizing this kind of behavior, even if a lot of people do it, that that doesn't make it right. And it really kind of struck a chord with me in a bad way about how the book was kind of acting like doing all that kind of stuff is normal because everyone was doing it and nobody had a problem with it, especially the cheating thing. It was like they framed it as, well, if you really love your spouse, then you'll get over the fact that they cheated on you because they really care about you and you should care about your marriage more than whether they cheat on you or not. And I just really disagree with that. And I don't know, it was so prevalent in the book that it knocked me down a star because I really didn't like that. But other than that, everything else about the book I loved and I can kind of sweep that under the rug, I guess, for the experience of reading this one. So I hope you enjoyed my review of An American Marriage by Tayari Jones. I'm definitely gonna read more by this author. And I know I said I was gonna do another spooky review, but like I said earlier, I could not finish Ray Bradbury's Something Wicked This Way Comes. The writing and prose was just getting on my nerves to the point where I didn't even understand what was happening. So I decided to just give up on that one. I feel like I really enjoy making these reviews and I don't know if people watch them or care about them, but <laughs> I'm having fun doing them. So that's what's important, right? Another thing that I really wanna do is read the rest of the Vampire Chronicles. I actually have the next one right here and I am so excited. Something called Prince Lestat is just gonna be fantastic. If you're still here with me, thanks for watching. I hope you appreciate my reviews and if you're feeling generous, give this one a like and please consider subscribing if you like hearing about my opinions on books and I will see y'all next week. Bye.